Hello, everyone. Good to be with you. It's Thursday. And, um, you know, today I was um, driving around doing something and, and, and uh, I was listening to the proverb for today, which is Proverbs 16. And so my phone was playing it as I was driving around. And so I'm driving and thinking about what, it, what I'm hearing. And then I heard this particular verse. And I thought, boy, I've got to share that with the people. And in Proverbs chapter 16 and in verse number six, the Bible says it like this. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. And it was that last part that caught my attention. You know, we've been talking about dealing with temptation and not giving in to temptation. And one of the reasons why I I said that, that people would not uh, yield to temptation, one of the reasons why is because they love the Lord more than they love themselves. And obviously that's true. And, and, uh, but, but when I heard this verse, it, it, it also, uh, jumped on my mind and, and, uh, and that, that is this. Another reason why, as the Bible puts it here, men depart from evil is because of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, if, in other words, uh, you know, to define the fear of the Lord is to, is to have awe of, of, of God, to, to, you know, be more concerned about what God thinks instead of what, what I think, um, to, to have a, uh, have a respect toward God, to, to have a fear of the Lord. And, and, in, and I believe, you know, it's also that fear that, that, keeps men and keeps women from, from, you know, away from sin, away from evil is because of what the Lord will do. We might get caught, you know, we, uh, God, God, you know, chastens his children. We don't like that. And so we don't want to be chastened by the Lord, right? And so therefore we depart from evil. No, I don't want to do that. I tell you, a healthy fear of the Lord not that, oh, I'm afraid, you know, God's going to beat me. Not that kind of fear, but a fear of respect, a fear of who he is, and a fear of, of you know, what God will do. So I challenge you today, and I want to leave that with you because, you know, may we not only love the Lord, but may we also grow in our fear of the Lord. May I have the fear of the Lord in my life. May it May it be a part of my life. Now, you know, and I hope and pray that you understand what I mean by the fear of the Lord. If not, maybe we need to talk about that. But, uh, but I, you know, it's always, it always excites me uh, when I come across passages like this that, that, you know, encourages men and women in the right way, in, 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 a, in a way that, that, that uh, you know, helps us to avoid sin helps us to avoid temptations. I get excited about that because, you know, our, our, our society is run rampant of sin destroying lives and, and people giving in to temptation. And I tell you, I, I hope it turns the other direction and, and that, that God fearing people will do what's right. And only by the grace of God, we do. And so, so, May our prayer be, Lord, help me to fear you like I should. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the day and thank you, Lord, for the word of God, how it, how it convicts, how it, how it encourages, and, and Lord, how it leads us. And I pray, dear God, help us all. But I pray, Lord, for me, help me to fear you like I should and that I might depart from evil. And Lord, thank you for what you have done. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.